okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel so i'm going to go ahead and do your be aware now this is a general message it may not resonate for everyone take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest anybody interested in a personal reading my information is always down below thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe now, Virgos, I always do say to you guys that the be aware doesn't have to be something bad. It could just be a situation or even a person that you may need to pay a little bit more closer attention to at this time. OK, I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos. So what do my Virgos need to be aware of at this time? Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? Show me. sign of Virgo all right give me a card for now and a card for going forward thank you spirit what do my Virgos need to be aware of so we have a wealthy man coming out here and then we have the journey card Bottom of the deck, we do have change. All right. I don't really feel like this is an energy of somebody coming towards you here, Virgos. Um, but let's see. Or wanting to come towards you with that change card. Now, for some of you, I'm also getting this energy here where I don't know if someone here has received some sort of finances and it's almost like them receiving this finance, you know, it means that they can close a certain chapter or it allows somebody now to be able to move forward or to relocate or something like that. What do we have here for Virgo? What do I need to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. What is this wealthy man? sign of Virgo what do they need to be aware of okay so I'm seeing the nine of swords let's see if it comes out on its own why is the wealthy man here so we have the knight of swords in the reverse we have the four of swords Yeah, we have the Sun card. Show me more. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. We're going really picking up this strong energy here. Of, I feel like this is someone who yeah, I almost want to say with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. I'm going to clarify. But it almost makes me feel like someone here either doesn't want to argue with someone or they don't want to fight here. It's almost like this energy of somebody just wanting to step into the sunlight here, right? Step into that energy of happiness. You got the four of swords, which can talk about healing here. Um, so again, this may be someone who wants to heal a situation here with you, but I, I don't feel like they're communicating. Um, I'm also getting something here about your finances recovering as well. Clarify the knight of swords. Let me just see what it says here. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Because usually the Knight of Swords in the upright talks about somebody going into battle. It can talk about harsh communication here. You know, it can talk about somebody being angry, wanting to defend themselves. But in the reverse. Oops. In the reverse. Hmm. So on the card, it has a different meaning. So this may resonate for someone. I'm still going to stick with my intuitive message here, okay? But in the reverse on here, it says someone here who feels like they maybe missed an opportunity. It talks about somebody being out of their depth, out of control. It says being left behind. It says rude, tactful, and hurtful. 
But with the sun card, even if somebody here was like that towards you, I don't know. It kind of gives me this energy that you're still in good spirits here. What is the Knight of Swords and the Sun card? Knight of Swords in the reverse. Oh, okay. So, you know, maybe the card is right. You have the Five of Wands here, which talks about conflict. It talks about drama, chaos, jealousy here. So, but with the Sun card, could this be about a child here? What is the, four, um, the Five of Wands? I said the four of wands, so could this be like a, a, a family dynamic? Is this somebody that you live with, maybe married to? Um, the emperor. Oh, okay. So we have Aries and Taurus energy here. What is this four of swords and the eight of pentacles? The eight of swords. So Virgos, are you the one in this wealthy position, whether you are male or female here? Is this an energy where you're just kind of um, financially stable or secure? Or could this have something to do with your business, right, with this Eight of Pentacles out here? Because the Eight of Pentacles talks about someone who is very much focused on um, something that they have put a lot of work into, a lot of time, um, a lot of effort, energy, to the point where you may have mastered something. So is somebody upset about your security? What's the Eight of Swords? Now, the Eight of Swords talks about a mental prison. And now we have AEA out here. So this definitely could be um, to do with someone that you are just not dealing with. You don't want to know. You don't care. It's all over when the fat lady sings, right? What is the Eight of Swords? For the Four of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. The Empress. So we have the Emperor and the Empress out here. Interesting. Let's clarify. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Justice and the Lovers and the King of Cups with the Six of Wands. I don't know. Some of you are, are you dealing with a King of Cups energy? I don't know if some of you are in a new relationship where it may be very successful here or you have some sort of admirer here behind the scenes. Now, this justice card definitely even says to me that somebody sees that you are receiving some sort of good karma here, right? Balance is being restored, things going in your favor. Six of Wands, victory, success, public recognition. And it seems like that's all you are focused on. So maybe this is why this person is angry. Spirit, clarify this Knight of Swords in the reverse. So this could be gossip. You know, this could be someone who just doesn't have anything good to say about you. But the good thing here, Virgos, it looks like you do not care. So, yeah, the tower at the bottom of the deck with the moon card. <laughs> so tell me more about this Knight of Swords in the reverse. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody mad that you're happy? Tell me about the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles. So this is definitely somebody bad-mouthing you here, upset that, you know, like I said, you're just kind of not interested in whoever this is. You ain't paying somebody any mind. You know, look at this. You've got your, your, your focused on your business here. You know, you're just kind of focused on succeeding. You're, you're, focusing, you're focused on being independent here. You're focused on your wealth. And it looks like things are going in your favor. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Mad that you stable, secure. Yeah, Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone having anxiety, stress here and worry. Maybe because they can't heal a situation here with you. All right. Give me a card for this Emperor. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify this Emperor for me. The Page of Cups. So, someone who may be immature, childish here, you know, the Page of Cups can also talk about somebody maybe needing to give somebody an apology for something. Um, this is an energy of a dreamer here. So, clarify the Page of Cups for this Emperor energy. Why is the Page of Cups here? 
it came straight out, the Nine of Swords. So maybe this is someone who, you know, because when you think of the Page of Cups as well, you know, it does talk about youthfulness, you know, that playful energy here. Ah, I told you I used the word admirer and it even has it on there. So again, I don't know if this is someone who's trying to get back into your good graces, Virgo. Only you know why um, you're not interested in this energy, right? Why is the Empress here? Clarify this Empress. Because this Empress energy is with the Eight of Swords. We have the Six of Cups. Hmm. I don't know with the Eight of Swords, because when you think of the Eight of Swords, it is a mental prison. It's a fear of being trapped. It's almost like an illusion energy here. Um, someone who allows their thoughts to kind of overtake them. I don't know if that's what somebody wanted for you. Or like I said, someone could just be in their head because you're moving forward. This could just be representing... Hmm... Why would we get the Six of Cups for the Empress? You know, someone here could be feeling like, how would I say this? Just like, just that they want to be almost included here. For some of you is this energy here where, I don't know if it's because you're coming out as the Empress, this person feels like, hey, you know, they're the one that should sit beside you, Right? That energy of every queen needs a king or every king needs a queen. But I don't know, Virgos, because you're coming out as very independent. You're coming out as someone who is able to manifest for themselves. You're not coming out as needy. You know, you're coming out in this energy where, you know, I, I'm the empress. I, I'm very abundant. I can manifest what I want. You know, if you have children, I, I can very much kind of hold that down right plus hold down a business plus hold down a house and maybe that intimidates someone hmm. it says kindness goodwill simplicity yeah it's like almost like you know you're not very much asking for much here Virgos for some of you may even be in this energy where do you know what you just kind of want to be left alone right <clears throat> show me going forward what is the journey card? What my Virgos need to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Ten of Swords. So that's definitely clarifying some sort of ending here. And the Ten of Swords is also, you know, that energy of the ultimate betrayal here. So with the Wheel of Fortune, that talks about fate, it talks about destiny. So it could be saying here, you know, that whoever this is that kind of wants to come back into you, Spirit says, well, no, that journey is over because of some sort of betrayal that was done here. You know, it's kind of like that energy of with the Ten of Swords that something here is unforgivable. There is no second chances. It's almost like, yeah, look at that, the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like Spirit saying, hey, uh, this contract or whatever you had with this person, this journey, um, this lesson, it is over. Show me more. The Knight of Pentacles. It's too many cards. Thank you, Spirit. Three of Pentacles, four of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Oh, for some other girls, why would this be a be aware to you, though? I don't know if someone here has been contemplating about whether they should leave a relationship. You know, someone here maybe not sure what they should do, right? So it's going to be different things for different people. But this four of pentacles and the three of pentacles, that makes the seven of pentacles. With the hierophant, <clears throat> it's almost this energy of somebody very much... Um, it's almost this energy of somebody very much, you know kind of reflecting on an investment, right? Something that they've invested in, um, put time, effort, energy into the Hierophant. It could be, like I said, a marriage. This could be somebody very much, you know, 
thinking about religion or, you know, doing things the traditional way here with the Hierophant. Um, but let's see. You know, the crazy thing is for some of you, the energy that I've been picking up over the last few days, this could even be that someone who, like I said, has betrayed you to the point of the Ten of Swords, right? For some of you, maybe even left you for dead, um, not literally, but left you in a situation, left you when you was down and out, um, you know, left you struggling, whatever it is for you guys, right? And now this is somebody that wants to kind of come in, make you an offer here. For some of you, the offer of marriage or commitment or a long-term relationship. And Spirit says... How did you work that out? The Knight of Coins. Show me more, Spirit. Yeah, I'm seeing the Magician, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Cups. For some of you, this may even be someone who threw some sort of spell work your way. Or, you know, the Magician can talk about trickery here. Um, <laughs> yeah. And maybe because something here was blocked, right? Two of Swords. Puts them in the energy of regret. The Five of Cups. Crying over spilt milk. And now they feel like they've come up with this brainstorm and they feel like, hey, I know what, I will try and offer Virgo an offer here. I see things moving forward for them, right? Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands. That makes the Nine of Wands. Things moving forward for you because you didn't give up. And now they're kind of looking back here saying to themselves, damn, you know, maybe stabbing them in the back wasn't such a good choice here, right? Five of Swords. Because it looks like you're still having some sort of victory. And now this person is in the energy of nine of swords. Having this anxiety, stress and worry. Because things are working out for you. And not only are things working out for you, Virgo. Right? With this seven of pentacles waiting for your harvest here. Some of you are moving on. New love, new relationships. Or you have new offers coming in. Now, again, if this is this person wanting to come and give you this offer, I feel like they're going to be met with heartache here with the Three of Swords. Why? Because some of my Virgos, you still see this person in this energy. The devil. Toxic. Codependent. Low vibrational. Someone who maybe has addictions. Some of my Virgos, it looks like you made a choice here. Two of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles to stand in your truth here. And this is why you get the success. Show me more, Spirit. What my Virgos need to be aware of? What is this Ten of Swords? Oh, coming out in the reverse. King of Pentacles. Show me the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Coins. Yeah, see, it, the star card wanted to come out here. So even if things were going very much slow for you here, Virgos, okay? Um, if you feel like your finances is moving a little bit slow here or... Um, hmm. I feel like with that star card, there's definitely an energy of recovery. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Coins. The Eight of Wands. I told you there's a recovery. So things very much picking up speed. Um, show me more. And the Two of Coins. The Two of Coins, is, it talks about making a choice. Needing to make a decision here. Um, okay, show me more. Yeah, the Seven of Swords with the full card and the Page of Wands. Clarify this Two of Pentacles. The Moon card. What's being hidden? You have Justice and the Lovers. Oh, I feel like somebody wants to approach you, but okay. Show me what the Ten of Swords is and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. The Nine of Swords. And the Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone's finances is being affected here. So I don't know if this is your finances here, Virgos. I don't know if you feel like... Um, <clears throat> 
you're struggling a little bit here when it comes to your finances. What is this king of pentacles in the reverse? Now, any king or queen for me in the reverse is a sign of a fall from grace here. Um, yeah, it says ungrounded male. It says someone who is unsuccessful when it comes to businesses. Like I said, someone here may be struggling when it comes to their finances here. It talks about corruption and extortion. So, you know, this definitely could be someone who maybe um, gets their money, I want to say, illegally or they do, you know, wrong things <laughs> behind the scenes here. But I feel like this is, you know, Virgos, this is spirit saying, like I said, for what someone did here, I feel like something is being returned to them. But let's clarify. Someone here could have been dealing with a Queen of Wands energy. Maybe someone took some sort of risk with a Queen of Wands. Or someone sees you as very confident, you know, very motivated. Like I said, I'm very much a go-getter. Um, someone who isn't underestimating themselves and someone wants to take a leap of faith towards you. But I, like I said, I don't know if it's because of your rejection here. Why someone here feels like, hey, do you know, what? okay, it's almost like the energy of revenge. Oh, I just heard revenge is best served cold. So that almost makes me feel like, is someone homeless or? Why is the king of pentacles in the reverse? Why is the king of pentacles in the reverse? Thank you, spirit, show me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, damn, there's definitely some sort of arguments or something going on here. The Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups. There's conflict here because somebody walked away. Hmm, or somebody needs to walk away from a situation because I just saw the Six of Wands. Give me one more. It's more than one. Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Those are the three cards that came out before. Something to do with the past. I'm seeing the Emperor again with the Magician and the Nine of Cups. Some of you, there was some sort of spell work here. Some sort of, like I said, manipulation, control. Someone here was greedy. It's almost like I'm hearing somebody wanting something all to themselves. I'm also seeing a Queen of Cups, so you guys could be dealing with anybody. But yeah, the World card. Something here is over now. What else do my Virgos need to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. Do you know what else I'm getting here, Virgos? Now, this is not going to be for everyone, okay? So I don't want everybody getting all excited and, oh my God, is she talking about me? I don't know who I'm talking about. I just read the cards, okay? I don't know if there was something here where someone expected someone to be almost taken out, right, um, with that Ten of Swords. And maybe, I don't know if someone here is having some sort of anxiety and stress because someone here is still alive. <laughs> Page of Wands, what do my Virgos need to know? Good news coming towards some of my Virgos here. Yes, look at that. Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. This is good news. After some delays, things start to move. There is speed here. So it's almost like, yeah, look at that, the Eight of Pentacles. I always pick up this energy, like for some of you, I don't know what you do for work, but it's always there's always like this energy where some of you guys are very much being attacked when it comes to your work, attacked when it comes to your stability, attacked when it comes to your finances here. Show me more. High Priestess. Okay, let me find out. I'm asking what you guys were doing for work. And we have the High Priestess out here. Now, this is also an energy here where some of you may have felt some sort of delays or blockages when it comes to your spiritual gifts. Um, I feel like you're going to find that that very much improves as well. Some of you are going to be getting a hell of a lot more downloads than usual. Yeah, that's some of you. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, some of you, you know, whatever this is, is definitely going to bring you in good clientele here, right? With the Six of Pentacles, people buying your services here, people seeing you as gifted or, um, you know, this is also about donations. But this is also about the community supporting you here. Yeah, people that may want to invest in you and this may be this person as well, right? Someone here may want to invest in you, but I don't know if it's too little too late. <clears throat> The Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment coming in for you here, Virgos. And give me one more. What do my Virgos need to be aware of? The Knight of Wands. Hmm. What is this Knight of Wands? Six of Cups coming out sideways. Um, so again, like I said, I don't know, I feel like there's someone here, it could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be with this Knight of Wands, but you may find that somebody kind of wants to rush in here from your past here. Um, but you know, the Knight of Wands, you know, is, is a non-committal energy, it is someone who is here today, gone tomorrow. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, look at that, Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I just don't know if this person is trustworthy. You guys are going to have to, like I said, pay attention to your intuition, your gut feeling here. And for some of you, you're not even going to do that. Like I said, I see that for some of my Virgos, you're just like not entertaining the past. Things are working out so well for you here. It's like you kind of um, in this energy where you don't want to mess that up, right? You don't want to go back to where or who you was. You've had so much growth with this Empress energy. It's almost like that energy where some of you, it's almost like your eyes have been open to the power that you hold. Almost like the magician. Anything else from my Virgos? Ace of Wands and this King of Wands. I feel like this is an energy, um, regardless of whether you may be dealing with a fire sign or not, I feel like, you know, male or female, it's taking on that energy here and going after your dreams. It is, um, I still feel like there's someone here that wants a new beginning here with you, though. Clarify this Ace of Wands and this King of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. I still feel like this is, you know, Virgos. Make sure that you're being motivated here, like I said, going after your dreams. You know, these new beginnings, these new business ventures. Um, You know, make sure that you're being creative here. Make sure that you're having confidence when you do it as well. Clarify this Ace of Wands and this King of Wands. The Four of Wands. Okay. Clarify that. Oh, but the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's someone here that even wants to heal things with you. Um, sit beside you as this Emperor, Empress. This, like I said, could be a marriage proposal here. One more. And then we'll close out this reading. The two of pentacles, you decide. This is also someone who is trying to find a way to approach you with this offer. But you see, Virgos, you see, even with the two of pentacles, if you look in the background, if you know the two of pentacles tarot card, you will see two ships in the back. And one will be like a big ship and one is a smaller ship. I feel like some of you are going to have to make a choice here between... The old and the new. So be aware of that. Virgos, that is what I have for you today, guys. If this is where we part, stay safe, love and light.